Hello, and in this video, we're going to look at how to compute Lev Levine's test by hand. In lots of previous videos, we've looked at how to compare the means of several groups on a continuous dependent variable, but we haven't really looked at how to compare the spread of scores between the groups. So, uh, uh, the, that's what Levine's t test is going to allow us to do. And actually, uh, um, lots of the tests we've done previously assume that there's about about the same variability in scores b between with it within 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 the groups we're comparing so th this is um Levine says of you to test an important assumption in the ANOVA and actually um the, the Levine's test is just a slightly modified um version of the one one way ANOVA logic so it might might be worth watching that video before you watch this one uh, um Here's the example data, data we're going to use, and, and we've just got two conditions, a happy happy condition where people received a happy message, and a condition where people received a sad message. We want to look at what effect that had on, on, on their mood. So, previous videos might have been interested in, in comparing the two means, but on a, in this time we want to compare the variability within the two groups. So, I'm just going to take away one of these groups and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna focus on one group one group for a minute. What we wanna do first is work out the disparity between each in, each individual score and that that group's mean. So if we look at the first example we've got um the mean is thirty six point six and the score's thirty three so we've got a kind of residual of three point six. If I um work out the residuals for all the the means in all the scores in that group, we get these values. We saw in previous videos though that we don't like positive and, and negative numbers because they they cancel each other out. So we need to use the absolute values um, uh, and just get get rid of any negative numbers. So uh, I'll do that here. Uh, and now what we need to do is ca ca calculate the means uh, or calculate the mean of these values we just calculated. So we're just going to add up all the values and divide by the number of values. I've done that. I've done that for both groups. We're going to be, we're going to be comparing. And at this point, all we all we're going to do is do a, a regular ANOVA. What what we're comparing in this sense is is whether the, whether the mean amount of deviation from a group's mean, which is what these values are, is different depending on a, on the groups. So first part of calculating a one way ANOVA. I've calculated calculated the grand mean of the two groups which is just the the means added together divided by two in this case because there's two groups so um as we're doing as we're doing on over the first thing you need to do is is calculate the, the total the total amount of variability in these variability scores essentially so we want to take each individual score away from away from the grand mean so in the first example we've got uh, um, 3.6 minus the grand mean equals 1.04. Ne next, as is uh, and the uh, here are those values, as is usual in an and over we're gonna square those values to get again get rid of any negative numbers, which is in the case of the first values 1.082. Uh, and now now we're gonna add up all those values to, to work out the total amount of uh, variability, variability in these um, deviations. Uh, once we've got that, we know that uh, from previous videos, we know that the total amount of variability in our uh, studying, in this case, because of the first steps we did, it is it's the it's the total amount of uh, variability within the uh, um, within the variability. Uh, it's the total amount of variability within the var the variability itself because we're, we're essentially uh, we've calculated a variability score for each uh, each score uh, we know that the um, variability equals uh, the total variability um, plus plus error variance that we can't explain so in this case we're hoping that that more variability is explained by error, and there isn't some systematic bias to to one 
condition having more variability than the other. So, uh, t transforming that equation, we know that the error is the, the total minus the effect. So, if we work out what, what, what's due to the differences between the groups, we can then kind of weigh up those two values. So, to work out what's due to our effect in this case, we're going to take the, the, gr the group mean in terms of how much each, each score deviates from the mean uh, minus the grand mean times the, no the number of um, participants. So, if if those if those um, very if those groups are the same in terms of variability, then the average the average amount of um, variance should be exactly the same. And we can see that we can see these two average, averages are different. So, want to see how much um, variability is due to that? So, applying that equation, we get an effect of eight point four nine. So we previously calculated the total, so we can just take that away from the total and see how much it's due to error. It looks like there's much more due to error, so it looks like this any variability is due to random chance and that there isn't significantly more variability in one group than another, but we know how much is due to error. Like any ANOVA, we need to calculate degrees of freedom, which is uh, the, the number of scores involved minus the fixed scores and basically this is the idea that uh, um, how many means do we need to compare to get to get to get, get the result we did. So if you th if you think about if you think about a um bo bo balls in a bag for example, you you have a choice uh, wh which which um wh which which ball you're going to pull out of the bag and until it gets to the, the last one. So you have one less freedom to choose than than what the what the original value was. So for our effect, we get one degree of freedom, and for our error, because error involves our entire sample, and we had two, uh, we had two groups. We get eight degrees of freedom because it's our total sample size minus the number of groups we had. So we can then then create. Uh, the, the the mean squares that are going to be going to be compared in our ANOVA. So that's the uh, sum of squares that variability measure we just calculated divided by the degrees of freedom. So and then to calculate the significance, we need we need an F statistic, which is the the variability due to our effect divided by the variability due to error. So we 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 get we get an F statistic of 1.39. If we look at that, if we if we look at that up in a f significance table, we see that we get a um, p value of 0 0.202, which is not significant. So we can say that there were two groups. The variability within within the groups is not significantly different. So this has been how to calculate the Levine's test. This was two groups, but it. It generalizes to to any of the other concept uh, contexts we've talked about for Anova. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.